Hey, Lamblisters! Personalization of our outreach personalization of our outreach campaigns at Lamblist has resulted in reply rates up to 70% and interested rates up to 60%. One essential asset that we use to personalize our campaigns is called Liquid Syntax. And I'm going to show you in this quick video how you can use it in your campaigns as well in order to skyrocket those reply rates. So, I hope you're ready to... to so. I hope you're ready to suffer through some code. Just kidding. It's super easy and after watching this video, I'm sure you'll be using liquid syntax in all of your sequences like a pro. Okay, let's rewind for a second. What the heck is liquid syntax? Liquid syntax is a wonderful, wonderful technique that lets you take personalization automation to the next level. It also lets you save an incredible amount of time because you won't need to add the corresponding information in your CSV files for each lead. Let me explain. In your sequences, you might have a specific target, but still, they're not all the same. In your list of leads, you have at least different genders, at least I hope so, and maybe also professional titles or other aspects that set your leads apart and might require different personalization. So instead of having to write personalized messages lead per lead based on those factors, you can use liquid syntax to automate those. Liquid syntax. Sounds scary. It's really not. It's actually kind of fun once you get the hang of it. And I'm not just saying this because I'm a bit of a geek. <laughs> Good one. Alrighty, let's get this party started. Let's say you have a list of leads and all of those leads have different positions. So a CEO surely faces different challenges than a head of sales. That means that you want to adapt your message accordingly. This is super important because it enhances your credibility and also their likeliness to find value in your message and send you a reply. Guess what will help you do that? You're right, it's liquid syntax. In order to use this magical feature, simply upload your CSV file containing all of your leads and all relevant variables. So in our case, the role and go to the sequence creator, as you can see here. here you have an example of the liquid syntax that you can apply in order to personalize your icebreaker depending on your prospect's position. Basically, you're using an if-then logic with some code at the beginning and the end to indicate that you're using liquid syntax. In order to create that code, you can either use the liquid syntax creator on Lemlist or you can also write the code yourself. I'm going to show you both options. Now, if you want to use the liquid syntax creator, you can simply click on the little hashtag right here on the bottom and then simply build together your formula without having to write write any code yourself actually. So let's say you want to have a different message for your head of growth and for your head of sales. So basically you are going to want to choose the if condition and then select the variable position because that's in our case the position, um, well the variable that will determine which phrase, which icebreaker we want to send to the prospect. And then we want to be sure that the position equals exactly head of growth. And then in case we have a lead that is a head of growth, we can choose text here and say, what have you implemented to personalize your outreach at company name, which will directly be replaced with the right company name. Then I can add another condition and same here. I'm just going to say else if, if there is another case where my position equals head of sales, then I want my text to be, what do you do in order for your teams to reach their monthly quota? And then you can see that here, the liquid syntax is directly composed by the liquid syntax creator. And you can also check that for each of your leads, the result displays the right icebreaker. So Nadia here is our head of sales. And so you can see that it says, what do you do in order for your teams to reach their monthly quota? whereas Simba is the head of growth of the Lion King. And there you can see what have you implemented in order to personalize your outreach. So you can literally check for every lead that the liquid syntax is correctly applied. Now let's have some fun and write the code ourselves. What you want to do is to go back to the sequence creator. And if you want to write your code yourself, there's just some rules that you have to follow. So for example, you want to make sure that you use a double equal sign, as you can see here. And also that you use the exact quotes that you can see in the example right here. Let's say that we want to have the exact same conditions as we just created in the liquid syntax creator. You can say, you just simply start with those Wrigley brackets right here, a percent sign, it's always the same. So basically this is where you want to wrap your condition in. And then you say if, you can also use case when, but in our example it's if, 
position equals head of growth. And then without any space, you enter the text that you want to display in case that the condition is validated. And then you end with an end if, as you can see here. If you have a second condition, you just do exactly the same thing once again. And then you can see that if you go into your review step, you will be able to check for all of your leads that the liquid syntax is applied correctly. So really, whether you wanna write the code yourself or you wanna use the liquid syntax creator, you can always make sure before sending out your campaign that your leads are going to receive the message you want them to receive. So to give you another example, you can also use an or clause, which means if you want to send the same message to the head of growth and the CEO, you can simply say in your first if clause right here, if my position equals head of growth or position equals CEO, then I want to display this text. So in this case, I want to send the same message to Simba and Mufasa. And when I check my leads, I can see that Simba, who's head of growth, and Mufasa, who's obviously CEO, receive the same message. Now, the last example that I want to show you is to simply have one condition for a specific value and then apply another text for any other value that your conditional variable can take. So here, for example, you can see that I want to apply that same sentence for the head of growth and the CEO. And for everyone else, I want to apply the sentence, how do you make sure your team reaches its quota every month? In this case, all I have to do is add an else condition. So if position equals head of growth or CEO, then give me the sentence else. So in all other cases, then please insert the sentence. And there you go. That's it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Am I right or am I right? Liquid syntax is applicable for all kinds of scenarios, different industries, locations, etc. So don't hesitate to be creative with it and take it to the next level. If you need some inspiration, just check out the templates on the liquid syntax creator. So I'm going to show you one more time. If you click here, you're going to have some templates. So you can literally play around with the dates, greetings, and also have a safe fallback value in case your conditional variable doesn't match any of your conditions. Okay, now I know this has been incredibly fun, but now some serious business. As with all code, you really need to keep an eye on the details. So you really want to make sure to use the right quote sign. You also don't want to apply any line breaks in the middle of your liquid syntax code. And lastly, make sure that all of the values of the variables used in the liquid syntax are correctly spelled and that there is no random spaces or anything that could make the code fail. And that's all there is to it. I've pasted all of the examples used in this video in the description, and you can also check our FAQ article for more examples and applications. Don't hesitate to like this video if you found it helpful and to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date as we're adding new videos every week. In the meantime, stay amazing, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.